What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 40th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys probably the most simple example I've ever showed you and that is basic form validation. Now what this program is going to do is we're going to have a really simple form, it's probably going to be one checkbox and whenever we click the submit button it's going to check whether or not that checkbox is checked. So you're saying alright this is how you do validation with checkboxes but I want to do validation with username and passwords well once you understand the basics behind form validation you can apply this to L every single element so you don't have to learn it a bunch of different ways you have to understand this one tutorial and then you understand the basics of form validation so like I said let's go ahead and start out with a basic form and I'm gonna name mine um, Bucky's form and let's go ahead and end it right now and like I said, we can have a bunch of different elements in here, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to add one checkbox. So input type equals checkbox, and might as well give it a name, it will make it easier. Just name it the box. This is the box. Dun, 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 dun. And now we need some kind of submit button because whenever we're calling our function later on, and we needed some way to submit the form. That's basically all I'm saying. So input type equals button and might as well give it a value of something like press me. That's the text that's going to appear on the button. And now let's go ahead and use our on click attribute. And remember whatever code we type in here like validator, this is the JavaScript function that's going to be called whenever we click our button. So let's go ahead and save this and run and launch in Chrome what we got now. So whenever we click our button, nothing happens because we didn't type any JavaScript yet. But whenever we create our validator function, we're going to create our validator function to check whether or not this checkbox is checked. So right now it doesn't do anything, but we're going to change that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and since this is just a function, I'm going to go ahead and add it in the head of my website. Why not? I like to add all my functions there. So again, this is named validator so that's what we need to call our function function and actually might as well just copy that to ensure that we don't have any typos and it's going to take no parameters and check it out whenever we call our function we need to check whether or not our checkbox is checked or not and we can do that with the basic if else statement so if and the condition we want to test is is this checkbox checked so first we need access to that checkbox in order to do that document dot the name of your form which is Bucky's form and let me just double click that make sure whoa not Bucky's forum Bucky's form there we go that's why I double click it make sure they both light up so Bucky's form and now we need to access the element the checkbox and we gave it a name the box so we can easily access it and the property to see if it's checked or not is checked now this is going to be true if it's checked and false if it's not checked. So let me go ahead and launch in Chrome. See right now it would be true since it's checked and right now it would be false since it's not checked. So if it is checked what bit of code do we want to run? Well let's just go ahead and make an alert box pop up on the screen that says you know something stupid like yep it's checked with explanation point and now if it's not checked it's going to be false so under our else let's just go ahead and alert um, something even dumber like you better check that Haas nah I don't like that because they both start with Y and let's just write no it's not checked explanation point so save this and let me run this and then I'll talk you guys through it one more time launch in Chrome so let's go ahead and check it and press it and it says yes it's checked cool enough now let's go ahead and uncheck it press it again and it says no it's not checked okay pretty cool it's working perfectly so basically here is what we did we went ahead and we created a form called Bucky's form and we added a checkbox to it and whenever we click the button we told JavaScript to call this validator function well then we went ahead and we made the validator function and all this function did is it said alright Whenever you click this button, I'm going to check if the checkbox is checked. If it is, I'm going to run this bit of code. If it's not, I'm going to run this bit of code. So that's why whenever you ran it and it was checked, it says, yes, it's checked. 
and whenever it was unchecked, it said, no, it's not checked. Pretty cool, huh? So that is the basics of form validation. Again, we only have one other element besides the button on this form, but what people typically do is they make a function to validate all their data. And again, like you see, we validated one piece of data right here, but then you might have um, another piece of code that says validate another checkbox or validate a text box or a password field. So with that being said, this is how we use a bunch of different, or excuse me, this is the basics of form validation and how to create a function to validate all the data in your form. So that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Again, pretty clear and simple, the basics of form validation. You pretty much make your form, use a function to validate the data by accessing each element in the form. Simple enough. So now that I covered that, I don't know what I'm going to be covering in the next tutorial, but trust me, it's going to be amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to, I don't know, don't forget to uh, brush your teeth. I'll see you in the next tutorial.